welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look is this smoky vamp look. Um, I want to do something a bit different because I haven't done a smoky eye for you guys in a while. I am kind of loving this, um, this vivid liquid lipstick um, by Maybelline. Um, when I was applying it on the video, I kind of wasn't feeling it, but after wearing it for a while, I think I kind of like it a lot more now. By the way, you guys, if you have not entered into this week's giveaway for the last $10 off your very own Laura Michelle Cosmetic Skincare Kit, please make sure you enter by subscribing, follow me on Instagram, Follow Laura Michelle Cosmetics on Instagram. Leave a comment down below on your favorite brush that you love to use while doing your makeup. So everybody who has entered, even from the first video all the way into the last video, will be considered into this last giveaway. I am so thankful that you guys have been watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and participating in the skincare giveaway. I am also going to be doing a whole promotion to help me get to 1,000 subscribers. So I hope you guys look forward to those videos where I'm going to be doing a giveaway um, till I reach a 1,000 subscribers. So I cannot wait. We're almost to 700, guys. I know you guys can do it. Please like, comment, and share my channel with your friends, family, or anyone you feel like will love to look at gorgeous glamorous makeup videos made by moi so i hope you guys love this video let's go get straight into it hey guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this look first thing i'm gonna do is prime my lids with the maybelline master prime and then i'm gonna set that with the maybelline shine free powder Next, I'm going to take my Laura Michelle Dual Powder, and this is in N10, and I'm just going to put this in my crease as a transition color. Now I'm going into the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and the first color I'm going to use is Dark Side. I'm going to place that into my crease to go ahead and add some depth. Using a clean blending brush to go ahead and blend that out on the edges. For my lid, I'm going to use the e.l.f. glitter glue. I'm just going to pack this onto the full lid because I'm going to need something to make the next shadow stick. The next shadow out of this palette I'm going to use is called Dark Heart. So I'm going to place that on top of the glitter glue and just pack it on. So if you look like a ra raccoon, um, you're kind of there. So don't worry, we're going to fix all this craziness. So I'm just going to take this little tapered fluffy brush by Laura Michelle Cosmetics and I use the same brush for my crease color and I'm just going to blend out the edges from this dark color because I did add some to my crease. So I'm going to take a little bit of dark heart on that same brush and just hit the outer V of my eye just to kind of make sure and smoke it out. So we don't want to look like overpowering with this smoky eye. So I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush, um, the same one I used earlier, and I'm going to take a little bit of my foundation powder. And we're just going to sweep it in the inner corner and dragging it back because you want to clean up that inner corner. You don't want it to be too dark, too dense. To set that concealer under our eyebrow bone, I'm going to take that same Maybelline Shine Free Powder and just set that concealer. Sorry guys, I did not know the sun. I did not know the sun was really hitting me like that on the last few shots. So 
my bad close the blinds fix that but I'm going to take this pencil and I'm going to line my lash line I'm not doing a wing liner I just want just to kind of make sure I hit that because sometimes with the shadow you don't really hit that line so I'm going to hit it with this So the eyes are done for now. Let's go ahead and get on to the face. I am going to prime my face with the last of my Murad Invisibler Perfecting Show Primer. I'm going to just go ahead and buy it because I just can't go without it. Um, I absolutely love this primer. It's like one of the best primers I've ever used. I'm also going to moisturize my lips with some Aquaphor um, Advanced Therapy like um, kind of skin protective cream just to kind of moisturize my lips a little bit. So I really love this foundation for my last video so I'm going to go ahead and use it again because I really want to test this foundation out and see how it works, you know, if it would last all night tonight. So I never use a beauty blender to apply my foundation so today will be the first time so we're going to see how this works. Okay guys, so the foundation, I still feel like it's still a little too red, but like last time, I'm still going to use my MAC Pro Longwear because I want this to last all night because I am going somewhere. So I'm just going to use that and because it's like a more yellow tone concealer and it worked really well last time. So I did like how the sponge blends out my foundation on my face. That was my first time ever doing that. So I'm just going to use the same sponge to blend out my concealer and see how that works. I really love this concealer with this foundation. I don't know why these two formulas seem to work together, but I really love them together. To, to contour with, I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Sculpt and I'm gonna go ahead and use a little of that to contour with. I'm just gonna use my sponge again to blend out the For my forehead, I'm just going to use this brush to kind of blend out those two. To set my concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Shine Free Powder to go ahead and set that. While this is baking, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Mean Guy Mascara to add mascara to my lashes. And then I'm going to use the Ardell Demi Lashes and I'm going to apply those on. To set my contour, I'm going to use the contour palette from BH Cosmetics. This is like the only contour powder I have because I don't know why. Huh. I need to buy a new one. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use obviously my Lord Michelle powder.
Before I place any other powder to, powders on, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Pixi Spray. For blush, I'm going to use my favorite by MAC, the Raisin Blush. For highlight, I'm using my Bella Pierre palette. And I'm going to take the color Guilt and Glimmer, and I'm going to mix those two together, and I'm going to place that on my highlight. Lastly, I'm going to spray my face again with the Urban Decay D Slick. Oh, yeah. I'm out. No! I'm going to spray my face with the um, L'Oreal Infallible. I almost forgot to add the highlight to the inner corner of the eyes. Duh. For the lips, I'm going to take this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid, I guess, lipstick kind of thing. This is my first time using this. Oh my gosh. This color is really pretty, but I had to build on it like a lot for it to get like this dense. And I'm hoping it's gonna dry kind of matte because I don't really like the glossy look. But we'll see how it looks when I finish the video. So this is the completed look, guys. Um, I really love this look. The dark lip with the smoky eye. I think it's so cute and seductive and just everything that you will want to wear to an event. So I hope you guys love this look and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.